Leviathan here. I'm proud to say that I finally hit 20,000 kilometers on the McLaren 650S. To some, this is an epic accomplishment, while to others, it's a tragic failure. So today, I'm going to talk about the three reasons why supercar drivers hate putting mileage on their cars. So let's clock some mileage and go for a cruise. Number one, the impact to resale value, which is true, but not to the same extent that you're probably thinking. When it comes to resale value, there's so many factors that affect it. There's color, there's spec, there's options, there's warranty, there's history, there's maintenance, there's year, there's production value, there's production quantity, market demand, dealerships, all of that will impact resale values. So there's only an extent that mileage can really play, especially, forgive me for saying this, when it comes down to the more common supercars. Let me give you an example. If you were in the market for a McLaren and had the option of buying a 720S with 20,000 kilometers or a McLaren 650S with two kilometers, the chances are you're probably gonna go with the newer, faster model, which is the 720S. So it's gonna be very hard to justify a higher price for the 650S just because it has low mileage. Yes, mileage does have an impact, but it's not as significant as you may think. Reason number two, the cost to maintain and repair a supercar, which is false. The modern generation supercar has become extremely practical and reliable to maintain. In fact, the McLaren even comes with a 12 year warranty. That being said, a lot of people fear that the higher mileage car requires an exponential amount of maintenance, which is incorrect as well. When it comes to the annual service requirement of a McLaren, it's approximately three to five thousand dollars, which obviously increases a little bit with mileage, but it's all within that band. And just because you put a lot of mileage on it doesn't make it a lot more expensive to maintain, which is confirmed by McLaren's pricing. And finally, reason number three, the fear of damage. A lot of people fear the unknown and there's so many things which are just out of our control that supercar drivers tend to fixate and worry about. We all know that supercar drivers are extremely scared of the weather. But then there are other factors like horrible road conditions, loose gravel which could result in paint chips, crazy people sitting or scratching the car, all of this, unfortunately, is part of the supercar experience, which you just have to really accept because these things do happen. Whether it's your fault or not, it's just part of the overall experience. So those are the three reasons why supercar drivers hate putting mileage on their cars. I feel when people fixate on those three points, they will never understand what this driving experience is all about because that will definitely get in the way of understanding this passion, this love, this sensation. It is an incredible experience and you have to let go of those three points. The reason I bring up those very three because it's something that has always affected me and it is a process to be able to let go. So those are the three reasons why supercar drivers hate putting mileage on their cars. Thanks for watching. I'm going to keep driving. Until next time.